Hello, dear viewers. Thank you so much for joining me for your daily tarot with Tarot Mom. I hope you all are having a terrific day. No doubt getting better. For those of you who chose this orange stone, I might as well get right into it. Although I, I do ask you to pick the stone that really resonates with you. And we'll do a golden nugget card at the end for other clarification. For those of you who chose the orange gold stone, we have the five of cups, the page of swords. We have the six of swords. Okay, wow. So it may be a more difficult time for you today. These are minor arcana, however. So I'm not talking huge issues, although there may have been some in the past here, but I'm talking um, just feeling like things have been challenging lately. You may have had some disappointments lately. You may have had some difficult truths or difficult things, thoughts to deal with. And it's, it's, it's turning though, because the Six of Swords, that is taking whatever difficult thoughts you've had or difficult lessons you've learned or difficult uh, realities in the past that have really built your wealth of knowledge and, and wisdom, but they haven't been so fun. But look at this person. They're taking it with them into calmer waters, slowly into calmer waters and toward the more hospitable shore. So it's sometimes a matter of perspective. Maybe spirit is encouraging you to not project what's been the case, not project it forward into the future, not project it up forward into this day even. Because this Five of Cups is about, it's about our tendency to focus over much on losses, on disappointments, on regrets, things that didn't work out. Um, times when maybe we had a cup of hope, uh, hopefulness about something. Hey, this is gonna, this is going to go well, and then it's spilt. You know, uh, sometimes. We have trouble believing again in another hopeful message. But Five of Cups would say that's exactly what you are to do. That's exactly, you know, turn around and look at the two cups that are ascending. There's always something new coming in. Source is always trying to bring something new in. And sometimes, frankly, the things we're disappointed about from the past or things that didn't work out, sometimes that's a matter of perspective too. Maybe we think they didn't work out, but maybe they were important steps forward into our future. Maybe in five years, we'll look back and say, oh, wow, that was, you know, that was kind of tough. But, you know, I was learning some very important things then. And thank goodness I did learn them because they really, that really helped me in the future. And that's what this card is about, the lessons learned. So I think Source is, is wanting you to not take it too seriously. If you've had some difficult times lately, thoughts, emotions, don't take that too seriously and bring it into the future. These are minor arcana. So, I, you know, there's no suggestion that something terrible is happening right now. Now, the Page of Sword, in fact, there's suggestion it's getting better here with the two cups rising and getting into the calmer waters and the more hospitable shores. All kinds of suggestions. It's actually getting better. The Page of Swords, that might be, you know, when a person is stressed and things haven't been going well and maybe they've gotten kind of down about it and maybe they're not seeing the hopefulness quite yet. They may have a, a temptation to speak to um, speak out of their emotion or think, okay, I've got to do something about this. I've got to talk to somebody about this in a way that's maybe not helpful. Like I've got to um, fix this. I've got to fix this. I've got to, or there's sometimes just a little irritability or yeah, something isn't completely well thought out through thought thought through and that they're going to speak about it anyway. So I think this could be a caution to please, you know, it's okay to not have a position on anything today. You know, not much of anything. It's really okay to 
Certainly not try to fix things today. Your mood needs to improve first, perhaps. Your outlook, perhaps. You don't need to make a plan right away and how I'm going to change all this. Um, I think it's about asking Source for help in how should I see this and how should I see this day and this, this, the next day and so on. These are minor arcana. These are not big deals. I think it's a turning point, Source is telling me. It's a turning point for you to move into those calmer waters, to get more hopeful again. Um, the Page of Swords, too, could be somebody else in your life as well who sometimes speaks off the top of their head and sometimes not with a lot of thought, forethought, and, um, you know, could be quite smart, could like to debate, in fact, but, but not wise in, in what they're saying, you know? Not necessarily accurate, though they would think they would be. <laughs> they would think they were. I always think of the Page of Swords. I always think, you know, um, teenagers, maybe young adults, but mostly teenagers, when they are getting to that that time in their development when they're understanding a lot more about life and their brain is, is their intellect is getting developed and their fluid intelligence is terrific. They can think circles around people who are older. I always think about them, and so they think they're quite much smarter, you know. I always kind of think about that teenager, you know, who is, is probably sure they're right and they're debating and and they're just trying out their mental chops. They're trying out their debate skills. They're trying out uh, adult kinds of views, but they don't know the whole story. They don't have the wisdom to be able to evaluate the truth of what they're saying. And that's just the way it is. I mean, that's where they're at developmentally. It's okay. So sometimes I think of that when I see the Page of Swords. I don't know if there's somebody like that in your life, but. I think this is saying you take your perspective to spirit. You have learned a lot. You're not in that place. You are wise. You're going to bring that wisdom into, into a better place for you. You're going to bring it um, to a much calmer and more beautiful future. So very interesting. Very interesting set of cards. They are minor arcana. You know, the rest of today could feel entirely different. Tomorrow could feel even better. Maybe, maybe there's nothing wrong at all with your mood or with your thinking today, but this is just a caution. Don't get, don't get wrapped up in that. That's a bunch of nonsense. For those of you who chose this rose quartz, this deep rose, we have Ah, the Lover's card, we have the Five of Coins, and we have the Nine of Coins. The Lover's card, you know, some of you have a good date coming up. I mean, really, enjoying some luxuries with somebody you care about. Some of you have a nice date happening, or a nice um, encounter happening when you're off enjoying life. So that's for some of you. Some of you are having um, just a really nice time in your relationship if you are in a romantic relationship. For some of you, this is about a spiritual love from the other side that is, is coming to help. You know, the five of coins can be money woes, but it can also simply be something very uh, transitory. Concerns about lack, money, health, wealth, other sources of security, concerns about lack. They, I always say transitory because this person will go into the church where there is plenty. But that might, that's so interesting. I'm kind of trying to think, how does that fit with this? For some of you, maybe you struggle with both. For some of you, you might worry about money and have money worries, but yet enjoy luxuries as well. Huh. Yeah, that five of coins can be, can be, um, it can show up for people who are quite wealthy. It can show up for people who are quite poor. 
it, it's more about the sense of lack. It's, it's more about that sense of lack or worry or, or feeling like insecure about that or shut out in the cold. This also can be in a kind of an emotional thing. I feel shut out in the cold. So there's something there that is a negative, that leads to some maybe negative emotion. However, I just feel like it doesn't last long for you today because then you've got these two cards and this is your major arcana. So maybe just feeling quite loved. Maybe there's self-love. And, and then taking time to enjoy the sensual pleasures of life. That I feel like this somehow clears all this away. That's what I feel like. This clears this away. There, it, it's amazing how one can have that at times when one doesn't expect it. You know, we open ourselves up to spirit and we ask for self-love. We ask to receive love. And, and we can then feel like everything is all right. We're sitting pretty good. It's actually okay. Yeah, so there's a lot. There different meanings can be taken from these cards. But this quite interesting group. Quite an interesting group of cards. For those of you who chose this this lime green jade, we have the High Priestess. Oh, we have the Star card and we have, oh, wait, wait, wait. I grabbed another because I didn't think I had enough, but I do have enough. Okay, well, I just happened to grab this one, so we'll leave it. Okay, we've got, these are the three originals. So the four cups, but then we have these major arcana, which are much more important. So I'm putting them in the middle. Right. I don't know if there's something you've been kind of dissatisfied about. Some, some things that just haven't quite been as emotionally fulfilling as you would like. However, though that's your minor arcana. Source is obviously bringing in a cup full of of love or comfort or joy or something that you're not seeing yet. Now, maybe you are encouraged and, and you should have every reason for hopefulness actually. So maybe you are encouraged to take some time spiritually to connect with your intuition rather than your emotions. Rather, Emotions can be part of intuition, but rather than your emotion, I say emotion here, rather than um, maybe dissatisfaction, connect with your intuition. Because Source is saying, I'm trying to bring you hopefulness. I really am. Also, pride in yourself with this Queen of Wands. Like you have purpose, you have fire, you have drive. You know how to get things done and you do. You know how, what's most important in your life and you hang on to that, you, you move forward on that. You've got some, some passion, you've got some maturity, but you have vigor. You know, that's a, tremendous compliments to you. So I just think Source is wanting to bring you a message that will make you a lot happier, will, will really energize you, have you feeling hopeful. And thank goodness for your intuition. It's obviously there, it's obviously developed with this High Priestess card. Thank goodness for that. Very nice. I hope. I wonder what this this hopeful message will be, but I think it's something you can look forward to. Okay, for those of you who would like a little further clarification with the golden nugget, we have got the ten of coins. That's a nice stable card. If any of your if your reading um, brought up some worry in you or some. Oh my goodness, you know, is something going to be changing huge or should I be changing something big or, you know what? The Ten of Coins says stability, stability, stability. You have it, enjoy it, count on it. If this is wealth, wonderful. If this is stability of health, sometimes you have some really good genetics, you know, um, so it could be that for some of you. If this is stability of family, or stability of relationships, that's that. It's a nice reassuring card. Like you're fine. <laughs> it's like that. Your needs will be met. It's like that. Sometimes I feel like the ten of coins and the ten of cups. There's our family on the other side saying, "Hey, ten is a completion. We're all complete. We're still here for you. We're here for you." So it's it's a lovely reassuring card. 
Well, I thank you so much. I hope you have a terrific day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.